Overworked Bay Area police officers who live in RVs are being forced to move, and only KPX5 has learned why. The circus is coming to town. Good evening, I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. I'm Alan Martin. We first told you about San Jose cops forced to live in RVs to get some rest, and that was last summer. Well, now we've learned they've been forced to move out again. Only on five. KPI X5's Kit Doe at the vacant lot that they're leaving. Kit? Yeah, the circus will be here in just about six weeks. They've cleared out all the RVs and vehicles out of this uh, lot to get ready for all those performers to come in here, that big structure. This is the only RV that is left here. This is the last man standing. Uh, the broader story, however, is that the city actually supports these officers who are living in these RVs and not throwing them out in the cold. When the big bright red signs went up in this parking lot, warning all the San Jose police officers leaving in RVs to get out by December 26th or risk getting towed, the president of the police officers union said his phone started ringing. Things are changing, so the circus is coming to town. Cirque du Soleil is coming back to San Jose as they have been doing for the past decade. Problem is, the city-owned parking lot the circus always used had become an RV park for exhausted and overworked police officers. Back in August, KPIX5 was the first to break the story about a dozen officers who often worked 17-hour shifts but lived as far away as Tracy and Stockton. And so instead of driving home, they lived in the RVs during the work week. Now, the lot is mostly empty. At first, it seemed like the police RVs were getting kicked to the curb, but not so fast. The nice thing is, is our chief's office realized that we've got to put them somewhere else so they can get some shut eye, and that's what they did. So that's a good thing. We spotted work crews installing lights at the new parking lot. A few RVs are already here, which has a temporary fence around it for now. It seems like the city is really committed to this whole RV solution. I'm sure the chief's office isn't thrilled to see a bunch of RVs in the parking lot and police officers sleeping in them. And I'm sure they don't want to, um, but uh, they're committed, uh, I think, to allow them to get some sleep and be safe. And a quick update on the police staffing levels. The good news, there are 30 brand new recruits in the police academy right now. The bad news, just as many officers are either retiring or leaving to other departments next month. We're live in downtown San Jose. Kitto, KPIX5. New